colorism in Jamaica. What are your thoughts? Move on. Just don't be like, oh, this person is light and that is why they might get an opportunity. No, like... People see you before them see a dark-skinned person. I'm not sure if colorism really is a thing. But they probably get more attention and people will say browning, browning, whatever. You have different levels of colorism. It is a despicable act. I have experienced it firsthand. Why am I not selling no lie? They benefit them nice. However, <laughs> lot of experiences where I felt like marginalized or discriminated against because I'm darker. Colorism is an issue and we can't just slap out of many one people for short people. Even though it's supposed to be out of many one people here, I feel like if you're a darker skin, you have or get less organic opportunities. Well, that's enough for me. Everybody forget the same treatment. See, I don't send me. But big up the dark skin boy, them. Them up my heart. It exists. I've seen it in real life. Colorism in Jamaica. All right, well, colorism, um, I think it's a thing. You know, brown people, as I get the privileges them. So it's just so crazy to become a brown. And if we know about colorism, Probably some other person watching this are gonna be like, look how she had chance and she brown and what she got chance say. But um I do believe that it is real and it exists. Very, very real. What else we for say? It evident, it's so evident. Even if you know like you have different levels of colorism, you have the extremely light skinned people, then you have the one in the middle, then you have the dark people. And uh, yeah, they're treated differently in terms of even the slightest thing like parking, for example. If me go to one venue and park, best believe the security guy ask me. But if one light skinned person driving out of the parking lot, they probably think so they're supposed to be there anyway and just let them through and tell us, I know it's empty and you have to go pay $500 up on the roadside. Move this stuff! Move this stuff! Mr. Move this! Anyway, but simple things like that you can see. And I'm gonna blame them, it's a sociological issue, so. You have to do what you have to do. In, in, in job interviews, different, even like audition processes, especially yeah. people in the creative spaces, they look them for people. You know the year interview already? Them kind of stop it, no. You know the year? Oh, oh, yeah, talk. Oh, sorry. You know, if you look at like different audition processes, the layout, the type of skin color that they want, even, you know, they probably prefer the skin color to do probably like services in hospitality and all of that. It, it real. Mm -hmm. Colorism. Colorism. Me say colorism. Colorism. Me say colorism. In a de jam. In a de. 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 Me say fix it. 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 Eh. Mr. Equality for every skin color, no bother. Come on, be like a backer master. Mr. Put on It is a despicable act because I have experienced it firsthand before. I think it is deeply rooted and it's not going anywhere to be honest, but I like where it's going where more women of color are doing more to embrace that, to embrace their skin and um, resisting skin bleaching and that kind of thing. Why do you think it makes you look better though? Because you have a brighter, not as if I don't like black, but you know entire your skin look lighter, it does look, look beautiful more like you. What do you find it do to you now? Why oh, me use it till you can't do nothing for me now? Right now, a doctor may have to go. You know how much money it costs more there? If I buy it, I forgot to one jinx thing, something the doctor prescribed. Why you go doctor? What, what happened? My face just black. You know, say black man, I'm not that black. See there? See there, cameraman, he's a brown girl. And the bleach into my face. This is the difference from my face and my body. I do it so. What the doctor said? The doctor said I must stop bleach because I'm pregnant leaving. So, um, more education in that regard is going on and I think they should really push that more. But it is deeply rooted, especially in our history in Jamaica. So, it's not going to but oh well. Just find 
people and be around people who accept you for you, love you for you, notwithstanding race, color, creed, sexuality, whatever. So just love who love you and toil with them. Ever since I was a child, I've been affected by colorism, where my own black people would, you know, discriminate me by the color of my skin. So I decided that, okay, there is something that in Jamaica, if you bleach, you can bleach your skin and change your skin color. Either them praise you and say you look better now, or your thing turn up, and then some people still bash you when they're the same one that want me to fit into the Eurocentric beauty standards. Why do you keep degrading dark-skinned women? It's sadly, it's still a thing. Um, we would hope for it to change, but it's actually still a thing. It's still influencing how persons would treat themselves. We have a lot of persons still buying bleaching cream and stuff. Not judging anyone, you know, so if that's what you want to do, or that's how you feel comfortable about yourself, fine. But I'm just saying that, you know, people are still indulging. And Some of them look like a brightish. Some people bleach because they're ugly. I want to get good looking. Some good looking and just greedy. I want more color. Like you, you, you brown and I have somewhere brown like you, I still want to get brown. I mean, I don't know why, but to me, bam, black, more I get brown because I like the color. And people really treat it by how you look. Well, no, the flip side to it is that for the persons who would have been toning, so to say, because we have certain negative connotations that are now assigned to you looking a certain type of way, chopper lifestyle, the flip side to it is that it doesn't really work for everyone, but it is still a thing. I haven't changed any of my thoughts. My thoughts remain the same. I'm not sure if colorism really is a thing, but they probably get more attention and people will say browning, browning, whatever. Like, what other benefit is there really? Nothing. I think there is such a thing as um, pretty privilege. Pretty privilege. Definitely a thing. <sighs> pretty privilege got and and with brown privilege. If Girls can get by on them looks. Mm -mm, I don't agree with. What a controversy. Why you choose for asses? Pretty privilege. I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what you smile for? Pretty privilege. Alright. It is not hype, it is confidence. It's called lazy. Um, you know, I don't really you know what I like your thing? But let's talk about it. Well, see what I'm flesh out about colorism. Because you know what people go say, huh? Ah, I'm too you brown, you don't know what this stand at and blah, blah. Uh. We experience it, they can experience it negatively and they can experience it positively. Because even though dark skinned mm. people say, oh, people get privileged because of them color, they give up animosity to. To exactly, but I don't know if I have to touch upon that. Whatever it is, but people do react to color in a negative or positive way. It's two ends of the stick. Yeah, I've been through a lot with this whole color bullshit. Yeah. A lot. But one thing you know, so my friend, not prejudice. Because you appreciate beauty in all shape, form, and you're more of an internal beauty person to begin with. Oh, so like, thank you. You know, growing up, sometimes you know, I don't know, like, I'm literally just there existing in a space. Probably walk into a room, and you know, you don't really greet every single person in there. You just walk in our room, you sit down. The next person walking into the room, nobody doesn't say nothing, but. Oh, yes, she thinks she's better than people because she's brown or some rubbish, you know? Like, it's it's very annoying. Like, it's really annoying. I wish we could live in a world where people just never see color, you know? It would be a better place because leaving from prep school to high school for me was like a huge culture shock. I think I spoke about this before. You know, everybody used to point out, oh, your mother black and your father brown, like, we never even realized that that was a thing until I, I got to high school. Like, mommy was just mommy, daddy was just daddy, you know? So I think a lot of the notions we have with regards to, you know, skin color, it's 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 a learned thing. It's, it's not innate. You don't just get up and have all of these. So, you know, we need to just teach everybody that we're all one. You don't need to segregate and... You know, said this person, brown people stay a star, black people stay a star. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's slavery gone a long time. Long, long, long time. Even though it's supposed to be out of many one people here, I feel like if you're a darker skin, you have or get less organic opportunities. If you're not bleaching, you're not saying nothing because bleaching turn up the thing. So when you bleach, America look more nicer, look more sexier and look more cuter than you was. So you've seen this happen and uh, in what case have you seen this? Well, if you look on even just how persons choose to depict 
different products or showcase items in like commercials and so on and so forth if you really look at it it's mostly browner faces that you will see in most of these commercials and if you're marketing to a, a populace that's supposed to be out of many one people it shouldn't be the case where the majority is lighter skinned people it should be a even mix and also with different ethnicities and races as well you know, I think my views have remained the same. I do want to clarify something because I think a lot of persons don't understand when I say brown people and uptown people. I'm not saying that you guys don't face adversities because obviously you do. You have brown people down in the ghetto. You have people who face adversities everywhere, every, you know, side of the fence. But again, once you have certain money, you kind of associated with certain people and certain spaces you're obviously are going to have more opportunities than look like all me look like all jam brown and tom whoever you understand so like i think persons felt more attacked by the question which i didn't like a topic that came up the other day is what happened in the miss universe contest Persons in the comments started talking about colorism and stuff like that and persons were defending it But that is a nice example because the representation that we have been sending abroad Out of all of the Miss Universe queens majority of these ladies are light-skinned ladies A lot of these women that are representing our country don't look like us and then like the regular <laughs> But I want to make it seem like say you know, it's just one type of person because again, out of many one people, but on a can I say out of many one people when we are talking about colorism. Yeah, Jamaica look like this, yeah, Jamaica look like that. We know. We know you go a Saint, you have the German, then you have the German looking people, you have all kind of persons that are Jamaicans. But again, colorism is an issue and we can't just slap out of many one people for shut people up. So yeah. Like someone said this to me. So them say they didn't know that Jamaicans look like all them look like well they wouldn't have known if it was for sports and stuff like that because watching the pageant history it's majority of light-skinned looking women so them associate us more with Trinidadians than they do with what or what the majority of our people look like I'm just saying yeah we look like all kind of different different type you know different shade different color different all kind of something but you guys can't just send one type of representation to represent us colorism in jamaica what are your thoughts to be honest it remains because i mean i feel like nothing really changed in terms of colorism because i feel like once you look a particular way or once you once you once you have once you're white are even if you're jamaican and you're, you're brown like you get first preference it's like people see you before them see a dark-skinned person so i feel like it's biased because sometimes once you see a white person people feel like oh them rich oh them from the upper echelon or whatever so like them get per first preference so i don't mess with that everybody should be treated the same way i have been um on the great end of it and i have seen it i'm not gonna not go be prejudiced or biased but i can see where probably me and my friends go out and because me are probably the browner girl and me would i get most of the attention or me would uh, be the one where i get the free drinks or them something there right um yeah my friend them get it as well but it's usually i'm like at the upper end i'm like the upper stick you get me um i'm afraid them look good smell good nice and clean too but probably we'll call them not as brown and and even that's just one example there are other examples so in terms of colorism in jamaica i don't believe that it's right but it's very real yeah how does that make you feel boy i'm not so no lie the benefit them nice however <laughs> as much as the benefit them nice i know that it's not right um and some, some of the times my, my friend them get it as well 
However, um, yeah. M m like the benefit, man. I come here and say, oh, I don't like the benefit, but come brown them. I do enjoy the benefits, and I can enjoy the benefits and believe that it's not right at the same time. So that's my stance, yeah. Then those are the benefits. Those are the benefits, them. <laughs> no, mama tell you what I do, but smart enough. I take the benefits, them, and them, and rope in my friend, them. So I say, all right, you want to give me free drinks? I have two friends around this, I would just give me three, no? Yeah. I get the benefits, I'm a rope in my friend, them. And that, I know. Yeah, good friend. Yeah, that. <laughs> right? So, girl, I get the drink, I get the VIP, I go straight up there. No, I'm uh, not who I got power with. I have a big even friend that who I got power with. <laughs> when I got VIP myself. The man, I get the drink. You're crazy. What's that called if I'm boring? <laughs> no, thank you. <sighs> not the skin color. Um, I think it's just. I think it's bullcrap. Um, it is unfortunate that certain hues and certain colors of your skin can get you farther in the society. Um, and like even me, I can I can say a lot of experiences where I felt like marginalized or discriminated against because I'm darker. Or people might see me as less attractive, but I know I look good. But it's skin color. And then... The people them with the up with the with the brown eye color, some of them have some awful personalities. Like, so it's I think it's a matter of like experience for people to answer that. How do you based on your skin color? Then I feel like the answer is gonna be different. Um, I'm, obviously I'm dark, so I I've I'm on the other end of the the well I'm on the negative side of colorism because I'm I'm a black man, a dark skin man. But yeah, it, it's definitely very rampant still in society. Colorism. Oh, Jesus. Um, I mean, I can't say it's very popular. Colorism is very popular in Jamaica. Because, you know, people with lighter skin get certain privilege and thing. But at the end of the day, we are one people. And I just feel like we need to just break certain things move on you know like just don't be like oh this person is light and that is why they might get an opportunity no like people deserve opportunities based on their talent or who they are it's not supposed to be about color i mean i understand why people do that so yeah I mean, i'm i'm not with colorism it exists it exists 100 percent and i i remember saying that i'm not like heavily affected by it even though I am black, but it exists. I've seen it in real life. I've seen people being talked down to and I don't support it at all. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how, how white people get this mentality that they are superior. Even in Jamaica, like, you think about, you wake up today and say, I am better than you. And, and why? And why do you continue to be? Like, even the generation, even the smaller kids are like, I don't want to sit with the black girls. I don't want to sit with the monkey. The blue monkey, like, what? I, I, I don't support it. It is crazy. I, I don't. It's sad. It's sad. Every time you want to take out the filling out of your lip, you're such a bully. Little mudfish. <laughs> the episode with Erica Mena using the racial slurs has aired. You've watched it. Tell me, yeah. what are you thinking? What are you feeling in this moment? Mm, mm, I don't want to be bashed like ganja class, cause you know. <laughs> One class and I'm here reporting live from Uptown with a public ganja announcement. He's the guy that can say it cause he is, you know, of high color. But um, I have faced it. But I'm not really one to allow these kind of things to get me down. Because at the end of the day, I was not I never get a question here for sorry, what color you want to burn, or how tall you want to be, where you want to burn, them kind of things. So I can't do anything about that. And it just says a lot about the person, it says nothing about me because I believe I'm a very beautiful young man. So yeah, I don't really pay attention to that thing. But it's their but not a business. Well, that's a no for me. Everybody forget the same street name, see how that's send me. Because everybody have feelings. And so, so I'm not putting nobody over nobody. Everybody say. Treat with them, but because of the dark skin boy, them, them up my heart. Mwah. No bars. <laughs>
no bras. <laughs> well, light skin, I got my love dark skin, man, for sure. Yes, if you have a dark skin, dark chocolate, I just saw it too bundle leg oh, and some se oh, sexy cherry lips. But anyway, yes, yeah, I just said short. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Colorism is discrimination against those with darker skin tone. It usually happens in the same ethnic group. Most people think colorism and racism is the same thing, but it's not. An example of colorism is team light skin and team dark skin. And although colorism is inherently anti-black, colorism is not so black and white that it's multiracial and it shows up everywhere. It's like if you see an ad, you might not think that you're like being influenced by the person's race, but you're like subconsciously being influenced. What you doing, man? Producers should not gather people for their music videos based off of their skin tones. It should be based off of their talents. Colorism can be really detrimental to a child's self-perception and confidence, and it really hurts them, especially when it comes from their loved ones or family members. It can show up in Indian commercials. It's everywhere. It's universal. It not just focus on one skin color or one community. It's time to end colorism in our fight for liberation. We have to make sure that the standard of beauty is inclusive. Every skin tone is beautiful. Hello, my people. If you like what you are seeing and you're seeing a lot, remember to like, share, subscribe. Very important. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment. It helps us in the algorithm. And of course, go and enjoy yourself. Watch the next video. And the next video. And the video after that.